Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, February 16th, and winter has finally woken up. Uh, it's cold. Uh, we're, well, it's cold for us right now. I mean, we've been in the, the 50s for a, about a week, week and a half, and all of a sudden it dropped down. I think it was the low yesterday was 12. Uh, today it's 26. I know that's warm for a lot of you guys, but uh, for uh, for us it's been quite a quite an abrupt cliff that occurred in, in temperature. Still no snow, um, and uh, you know we'll, we'll see we'll see what's around the corner because this winter's been so crazy. It, it might be 50 again next week. Who knows? Anyway, things are going well. I hope you're all having a great weekend and uh, and enjoying life. Uh, it's uh, it, it, it's 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 actually been a really good week this past week. Uh, we're Get, my wife and I are getting back to normal health. We were hit with that cold that just wouldn't quit. Uh, and she's still coughing. Uh, she doesn't have any other symptoms, but uh, she's continuing to cough. And I'm going to try to get her to a doctor during the week because I'm, I worry about... Uh, she's prone to bronchitis. I am too. Uh, it seems like every two or three years I'll, I'll get bronchitis. Uh, and it, the good thing about that is if you know it's coming, you can often get your doctor to, you know, prescribe something early on, uh, that it seems to help, so. Anyway, that's probably more information that you needed, but, uh, I just wanted to let you know that, that we're, we're doing well. We went, this was Valentine's weekend, uh, of, of course, uh, we went out on Thursday and had a really nice dinner, and, uh, yeah, just, I just enjoyed that, uh, a great deal. Uh, we... Uh, stayed home on Friday. Actually, did the live stream on Friday, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And we went out yesterday, did some shopping, and we're probably going to go out today as well. So it's been nice. Uh, this is a long weekend here, uh, at least for me. I don't know how many guys have. Uh, I guess it's President's Day. I don't know how many guys have that off on Monday, but uh, I do, and I'm going to take full advantage of that. Spend a lot of time down here in the shop. So, uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about today. The, the first was the, the Friday live stream. If you haven't seen it, uh, I'll, I'll put a link for the replay somewhere. And uh, go watch it. It was fun. Uh, so, I want to once again thank Andrew uh, Pipeful for being my guest. He, he was fantastic. Uh, we, we learned a lot about him. We learned a lot about uh, Marksman Pipe history. and it, it was just a good time. The comments were great. Uh, there was an opportunity for the, the people watching to ask questions in the comments, and that was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, and all the feedback that I've gotten has been mostly positive. Uh, there, there, there was one negative comment, and that's, that's okay. I asked for feedback. Um, I think the comment was, uh, probably a bit misguided. I mean, just because you don't enjoy something doesn't mean that something's wrong. Um. Uh, but that's okay. We, we, it's it's go, not going to be for everybody, and we will uh, we will work on it as we go forward. Now, I'm really excited because I'm not a big numbers guy. You know, I don't really pour over the YouTube analytics and stuff like that. You know, I don't really care about those things. I just enjoy talking to you guys. Um, but I, I, when you turn off the live stream, if you use the go live uh, mobile YouTube streaming thing. Uh, when you turn it off, it tells you on the screen, you know, what your peak viewership was and all that sort of stuff. And uh, at at the peak, and this was not for the entire hour, but at the peak, uh, we had 131 viewers, and that is remarkable. That, that's really a fantastic turnout for, for a live stream, so I'm really happy about that. I thank everybody that tuned in and, and made it such a success. And that was maintained, uh, you know, it dropped off, but it, but it stayed at about 100 and was maintained all the way to the end. We had 105 watching when I ended the live stream. So that's telling me that uh, the, the format was good. The, the format was interesting and engaging, and uh, we're going to keep doing it. So if you uh, can, please tune in this coming Friday. It's going to be Friday at 8 p.m. That's going to be the, the uh, time slot going forward. And I'm going to be interviewing uh, John, the, the bearded Welshman. And I, th I talked to him last night. He's, uh, you know, I've watched many of his videos and, and got to talk to him by phone last night. Very interesting guy, very good conversationalist. This is going to be a lot of, a lot of fun. So you'll see a, a um, announcement come out on, on Wednesday that you can click for a reminder. Uh, and do that. Click, click it for a reminder so you know. 
Uh, so yeah, live streams going well. The one the one thing that I am gonna need to do, and uh, you know, I've gotten some comments like, could you? T I don't remember if this was a comment or or an email, but could you take calls like to to answer questions? And and that's gonna take some technological maneuvering, but maybe. Uh, another one is, could you have two people on at the same time, or, you know, could you do video, all that, and, and yeah, the, all of that is possible. Um, right now, my challenge is I want to get the audio worked out so that I don't have to switch a lapel mic off every time somebody calls. So, and that's actually not as simple as you might think, and I'm going to probably need to ultimately get some, um, you know, soundboard and, and, uh, uh, what's it called? A video encoder uh, to convert the. But I, 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 right now, this is complicated. Right now, I'm using a tablet as the camera, and that makes everything real nice and simple. I just use the uh, mobile go live, and everything works. But ultimately, I'd like to use something like the camera I'm using right now, which is a Canon uh, uh, Vixia, and. To do that, I need to take the HDMI, HDMI signal out of the camera and convert it and send it in and use the laptop, uh, but that gives me a lot more flexibility in terms of bringing in other video components or uh, mixing the audio and all that. So that's a real long way to say stay tuned. Uh, there's going to be exciting stuff coming down the road, and I'm, I, I'm really looking forward to, to taking this format as far as we can and, and, and having fun with it, and I hope you'll join me for that. So what else is going on? Oh, yes, very quickly, I, I know you've seen this a hundred times, but I, but I have to say it because it's so important. If you haven't yet, go to the Pipe Nook and pre-order your Matches 860 Friday 7 Ellie. Uh, they're only going to, Eddie's only taking pre-orders until the end of February. So you've got a, a limited amount of time to, to get that order in. Um, the price is very reasonable. It's, it's, comparable to to a Savinelli that you would buy, you know, just regularly. And and this is going to be a, a wonderful pipe to have. So find a way to beg, borrow, or steal. Go to the Pipe Nook, uh, thepipenook.com, I think it is. Uh, just search the Pipe Nook, Nook in Google. Um, and uh, and I'll, I'll link below. Yeah, I always forget that I can do that. Uh, look at the link below for, for the Pipe Nook. Beg, borrow, and steal, and, and go pre-order one of those pipes, because they're going to be fantastic. Uh, I, I just really can't wait. All right, so thought I'd tell you a little bit about what's going on in the shop. Uh, I've been very busy, uh, which is great, you know. I, and thank God I have patient customers because I'm, I'm not fast, but I'm careful and I'm, I do good work. Uh, so I finished up three pipes last week and got those back to their their respective owners. And now I'm working on two restems and two uh, sort of refurbs. One uh, is a pipe with a little bit of a burnout issue that I'm dealing with. Uh, so good, good stuff. I, I love the stem making, but it's nice to every once in a while have a pipe that just needs to be cleaned. It, it you know, just makes life easier. Uh, well, it doesn't make life easier. It's just a different thing to do. Uh, but I, I love making the stems, but it's very tedious and, and time-consuming work as well. So what I'm working on right now, and this is this is a cool little pipe. Uh, it's not a little pipe, but it's, it's a cool pipe. This is a Sabinelli 173 um, that I hope my friend Rick doesn't mind me showing you. And the neat thing about this is the shank, which hopefully you can see is sort of a rounded triangular shape. Very, very unusual shape. There's the stem. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. This is going to be a real challenge to match. <laughs> and I've done this shape before. It, it just, you got to be really careful. So obviously the, the best way to match this would be to stick your new stem on and just sand and file it to the shape. But you can't do that because you wind up sanding and filing the briar. And so you got to get as close as you can without hurting the briar. And then you have to sort of sneak up on it off the pipe and keep putting it on and off to, to check the fit. So the owner wanted an acrylic replacement stem and he wanted it in a uh, in a really interesting color. So first step was to make a 
uh, little Delrin tenon and that fits in there nice and snugly and the next step is going to be to take the acrylic blank that I have here and attach this. Now the, the challenge here is that this is obviously not round and I need it to be round to drill properly and so I'm going to have to, to round this and normally I would just chuck this on the on the wood lathe and, and round it off. It's not a, not a big deal but the there's very little room. I don't know if I can get that so you can see it, but this is, you know, if, I, if I'm off just a little bit, I'm not going to be able to use this blank because uh, because of, of the width of this. So what I've decided to do is get out the four jaw chuck and chuck it up on the metal lathe and, and use that to round it off. So this is, this is going to be, it's 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 not a short project. <laughs> But uh, it, this is a, it's a really cool color. He wanted something very unusual, and this is this is like a blue that kind of I'm trying to catch the. So it's more purple over here. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera. Like this face is very purple, and then as you come across, it goes very blue. And there's some some specks of light stuff in there. I, I think this is going to make a really cool looking stem, uh, which is which is what the customer was hoping for. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is, is trying to turn this into a rod and if I'm successful drilling it and getting it glued up into this uh, this tenon. And then the fun begins with the filing and sanding and, and all that. But I, I do enjoy what I do. Uh, I look forward to the day when I can retire from my real job and just spend eight hours a day down here sanding and filing. That will make me very happy. Won't make my wife very happy, but it'll make me very happy. I don't think I mentioned what, I, what I'm smoking today. This is it's haunted bookshop, and this is a Savinelli that I can never remember the number on. It's a something 22, I think. Uh, this was a gift from my friend uh, Christian, and I really uh, enjoy this pipe. I know I'm not supposed to be smoking Burleys in this. It's supposed to be a Virginia <laughs> aromatic pipe, but. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to smoke this pipe today, and I wanted to have some burly. So, I think that's uh, that's pretty much all the updates. I hope you're all having a, a great weekend, and uh, looking forward to a nice week ahead. Those of you that have tomorrow off, enjoy. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Uh, it, it, uh, it makes my day. And please uh, tune in this Friday for the interview with uh, the Bearded Welshman. I think uh, you're, you'll really enjoy it. 8 p.m. Friday. So guys, uh, with that, I'm going to sign off. So until we meet again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.